Shauna, do you have uh, one that we can uh, talk about on the uh, municipal issue uh, for Mayor Thompson? Um, I think we got through most of them. I'm just trying to see also if there's anyone on the line that asked a question that I didn't give the opportunity to speak. Um, we did have another municipal question, Mayor Thompson, from constituent Jazz Winder, um, and they were wondering about any future development plans in the area that you could advise on, if there's anything in... Sure. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, we've, we've got a number of things on the go. Uh, right now, uh, with Bolton, uh, we're, you know, going through a board hearing to do some expansion there. There's uh, development taking place in Caledon East. Uh, we have development taking place in Mayfield West as well. Uh, we also have uh, small communities like Alton and Bell Fountain with small developments taking place there. But also when you talk about development, what of? And we ha do have a lot of employment taking place in Mayfield West as well as the Bolton area. Um, and hopefully we'll get it in Victoria and Tullamore as well. We ha do have a plan that we're trying to work with MTO for the Victoria uh, Business Park over there. Um, but also the other development I call to is uh, getting the infrastructure in, especially with broadband, and through the SWIFT initiative, which uh, helps subsidize to get rural connections done like the urban centers. Uh, we, we, we have closed the RFP. We're going through the uh, tenders right now. We hope to have something within the next six weeks um, to say where and how we're going to get this started. And looking at the projects, we've got about uh, 5.2 million of funding that we have combined between what the towns put forward, the federal and provincial government, but also with the federal government, uh, other programs have, they've just introduced with the, uh, also with the 150 million that uh, the provincial government has, uh, maybe we can tap in to help get the rest of our community connected. Um, SWIFT is also looking at 2.0, which is the next phase and uh, we're hoping to get at least 95% of Southwestern Ontario covered with that funding. But uh, what we're looking at is 10% of that funding because it's 10% of the population. And uh, Kyle, we can, hopefully we can have your support on that because it's not just for Caledon, but it's for all of Southwestern Ontario from Muskoka basically right to the Great Lakes. So this is something that's extremely important, but it's one way of getting our kids the education that they need to work, uh, especially people working from home. I think that's gonna be more of a lifestyle change, especially with COVID, but it isn't about downloading Netflix anymore. What it's about is having to survive at home, operate your business, also getting our kids educated, uh, especially with telehealth and everything that's required. This is a new era that we're walking into. There's gonna be a new norm. And part of that is we've gotta have fiber to the door. Uh, we've definitely watched how the cell towers are uh, completely failed for us here in Caledon. Um, you know, they're oversubscribed some places as high as 1500%, which is uncalled for, uh, which has caused huge failure for our 911 calls, which is public safety. So I think at this point, I'm not pointing the fingers at Rogers and Bell and all the providers. Let's all work together to find solutions to get our community served the best way, the quickest way we know how. Yeah, I, yeah I agree. Um, Absolutely. Uh, Mayor Thompson, what is the, when, when is uh, Mayfield West supposed to start? I know I thought it was coming up this year, but um, is it is. That yeah, so registration's done. So you'll see the uh, sales uh, pavilion, the infrastructure is going in now. Uh, the sewers and storm sewers and everything are being put in the ground uh, as of this week. So uh, you will be seeing uh, sales pavilions opening up any day and uh, they're going to do it. Uh, I know we're going to be having a bit of a groundbreaking the uh, end of uh, August for that area. And uh, Kyle, I uh, hope you can be part of that as well. Uh, one thing we're going to be celebrating in the Mayfield West, which is between Highway, um, Highway 10 and over west towards uh, Chincuzi Road. And that first phase, it's, we're going to have ubiquitous Wi-Fi. So what it means is that uh, it's, it's deemed as the first smart community in Ontario and one of the first in Canada. I know some of it's being done in BC as we speak, but uh, this is where you're gonna have ubiquitous Wi-Fi from your street lights. So kids don't even, even need a cell phone plan, to go to school. Uh, it's gonna be completely connected. So when you even buy a new home, it isn't about pecking the countertop or 
you know, the trims that you're having in the house, but it's also what kind of security system and, uh, you know, what kind of style of Amazon, I call it the Amazon door where your parcel comes and that, you know, it reads the barcode and you can slip it through the door or, or a piece in the wall. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's a new smart communities. It's being done all the time and around the world. And uh, it's about time Canada catches up. And with Bill and Rogers, to so both come to be the major uh, major providers. Um, so this is something that we're all going to celebrate. And uh, stay tuned. It's going to get interesting in the next few weeks.